Hello, fellow tabbers. Um, here I am, gonna try to attempt to do a video on how to exchange glycol. Uh, this is probably not the way that the that the Aldi company recommends, but it works for me, and I think it saves a lot of money. I think it's sufficient to keep fresh glycol in your system and keep things up and running and that with this pump that I've got put together it makes it really simple so first of all is what I, I recommend there's other ways to do it but you can get to your glycol reservoir in my camper it's here yours it might be somewhere else but through this cap I'm not going to actually do it because I've already changed my glycol. But you can get in here and and take out what's in there with the turkey baster, put it in, put it into the your drain bucket and get as much out as you can. And then I've got a bucket and a tote and I'll use the bucket I'll put my I'll put the new glycol in and submerge the pump plug the pump in plug the pump in hopefully you've got a thing there turn it off you got your thumb switch here your other your other hose the one with the straight This, this one will go straight down and you'll, you'll fill it, go into the little recess straight in the bottom. If your, if your circulating pump is on, it'll immediately push glycol out through here once you plug it in. So you can use it to drain the reservoir, but if you drain it too much, then you risk getting air in, but you can practice pushing that in to just not super hard but till you can fill it so there's that and then this other one from that goes to the pump the submersible pump and you might want to put it in first but you can fill it goes off to to the depression that's in the side and then put the other one straight down in. So as you're running these, you want to kind of hold these in slightly. And so that's what them in there. And now I'm going to stop and fill the bucket full of glycol. So I'll be right back. Fill it with fill it with what you're going to replace. Probably should not try to not get as many bubbles in here as I've got. Let it sit till the bubbles are gone. Okay, there's that. And I've already done my trailer. I'm just doing this to demonstrate. So once you got that, then you take this fitting off right here and and some hard for me to film and do this with one hand just sec okay with that with that done let the air out of the one side as much as you can lift it up and then hook it back up Okay. Okay, now that your pump submerged in in the bucket and you've got these two tubes in, pull the pull the middle one out cuz you don't want it 
and then pull the other one out and this with this switch here just click it on for a second and you see that you'll see the new glycol just click it on and off and now now you see it all the way up to here And it will, it, if it fills the reservoir a little bit, that doesn't matter because you've drained it and it's now it's new glycol. So now, now you get these seated, seated back in where they go. The one straight down first or whatever works. This one that's offset, offsets a little harder to find. Get that pushed in get the other one pushed in and you're and now you're ready to go so now with one hand well, this might be hard for me to do that but make make sure you drain one you might you might want to put some weight on it down into the bucket and and it's probably a good idea to have a, a second bucket in here so it doesn't float your other bucket up so get it get it so it stays in there and then with one hand hold the two tubes in and then as all, all you have to do is flip the switch and see it's draining as it's filling and you just do that until this bucket's empty try try not to let it try not to let the bottom of the pump suck air keep it in the glycol and that's it run about two two gallons three gallons whatever you feel comfortable with replacing and that's it When it gets down to the bottom, before you suck air, turn the pump off. And then, carefully remove the hoses back and drain, drain everything back. And with what's left in the bucket, you can use to top up your, your reservoir. And you do all of this with the, with the propane bottle turned off and your shore power unplugged or at least make sure that your pumps not circulating at, at your panel here um, you'll know if it's off because if you try to put in the drain tube here it'll it'll be pushing glycol out and then once once you've done the exchange take the tubes out Top up your top up your reservoir, and then run your heater, or at least run. You can. There's a setting in the panel to just run the pump, and and run that for a few hours, and then check it, and then top up to your the uh, maximum fill line, which is really hard to see on the sides of the of the reservoir. If it's a good idea to put a, a mark with the Sharpie on, on that mark so you can see it and have a good flashlight. But that's it. And you can, you can run one or two gallons in. Um, my thinking is I'll just run two gallons through every couple of years and call it good. But if you feel more comfortable flushing it with, some people say distilled water, some people say deionized water um, some people flush it with regular tap water and then flush it with a couple gallons of deionized water and that and then run your glycol through till it runs whatever color your glycol is um, out the drain and that's it and if you do get air in that's another probably another video where you you find your uh your bleeder valves and with it circulating 
crack them open momentarily to get the air out. Each trailer has, mine only has one, some have two or three. And it's pretty simple to do that. You just make sure that pump's circulating and twist them open and then close them real quick. Oh, where is it? I, I get these small, if I can find where I put them, small pair of vice grips to put on the knob on those bleeders. And it makes it real easy to open them. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. And I've got some more pumps for sale. Uh, message me and I'll answer any questions. Sometimes I don't get my messages if I don't answer try to message me again because uh, Facebook's been screwy lately. So, okay. Thanks.